Welcome to the Nutcracker um, uh, workroom at the Wichita Falls Ballet Theater uh, warehouse. Um, my name is Chris Marvel Lascott. I um, have been involved with the Wichita Falls Ballet Theater for 24 years now, I think. I want you to know that you are getting something quality. Um, and some of these come and they're, they might be disappointing if you opened them right out of the box. So for years now, when I get my boxes, I will open every single box uh, in these big boxes and then I'll open every box inside these boxes and you can see how I have done that with several of the styles we have this year. Um, and then I sit down at my little work table that my wonderful husband built for me and I um, check them out. I would like to show you some of the things that I do to make sure that you get the best possible quality product when you buy something at our boutique. Um, I can't fix everything. The things I can't fix, I send them back. I've sent back already um, seven box loads of, of nutcrackers uh, to Kurt Adler. That's who we buy our nutcrackers from. So we're gonna start with this one because first of all, it's kind of a bizarre one. I didn't buy very many of this one because it's kind of quirky. Um, but it'll be, somebody's gonna want this lovely little Nutcracker. Okay, so she's pretty interest, uh, easy to get out of the box and pack back up because she's pretty simple. Now, I don't know if you notice what I'm noticing about her, but her wing is bent. Now, I have tried to fix that and I can't. <laughs> so, she's going back because I don't want you to get a sugar plum fairy nutcracker that isn't looking the way she's supposed to look. So that's that's an example of what I would send back. Now this one um, has a problem that he is gonna go back and some of you might think that's not too big of a problem, but there's a little crack right here in his skirt. Now that doesn't look too bad, but it will become bad. So it's going back. Now. That's another thing I'd like to share with you. That's why these little things that are in your boxes of nutcrackers are real important to keep in there because this will help keep um, your nutcrackers from cracking and breaking. So make sure you keep those. <clears throat> Over here, I already checked these out yesterday and I'm gonna go back and fix them. This one needs some white glitter on the side of Let's see, which side needs the white, this side. See all these sides, they have the little white glitter. Well, this side didn't get any glitter. So I'm gonna make sure that it gets some glitter. And let's see, this one, gold glitter on the neck. There's a little scratch mark right there. I know that sounds crazy to you, but I'm gonna make sure that that's all gold. Um, let's see. This one didn't have a good beard. Here's his beard. I don't like his beard. His beard is a problem for me. So, so I'm gonna scavenge off of one of these that's going back. I'm gonna scavenge it off and, and trade out the, the beards. Then, um, okay, so that gives you an idea. And then all these little jewels that go on the top, um, they have, oh, I should have, here, I'll bring this guy over. See, when they come, see how that gl glue is um, so yellow and too much of it? Okay, well, this one's going back, so I didn't take the jewels off of this one. But these I'm keeping because they're really good in every other way. But I will go back in and re-glue each one of these back on with clear glue and it won't be a mass of glue. Okay, then let's see, we'll move down to this guy. 
and now I don't remember what's wrong with oh <laughs> that's a simple fix ba bam <laughs> his mustache had just fallen off and that's not anybody's you know it just happens they're glued together so I'll glue it back on but I don't want you to open your box and have that um, this guy, we have a problem sometimes with the mold from Kurt Adler. You can see that giant hole in the tip of his mustache. Okay. Uh, it's part of the mold. It's not a, but I'm going to fill it with some putty and then paint it white and then put a little more glue on there, glitter on there. And then just um, this guy. Okay, if y'all ever get home and you have a nutcracker that has one of these fancy feathers on it, I will tell you that I would cry because I can't stand these things and I will be cutting that off. <laughs> so he bothers me, that bothers me. So, and then they're just in bad shape in general. I mean, there's glue and fuzz and and all this white looks like snow that doesn't really belong there. So I'll clean that up for you. Then up here, this one, see how the, the um, yeah, yeah, the cord has come in off of the cape and I'll fix that. Um, and I think that was all on that one. And this one, um, has a lot of glue on the cape. I don't really like that either, so I'll do my best to get that glue off. And if I can't, to my satisfaction, it will be going back. Now y'all will probably never see that. It's little red glitter that just got misplaced on the back of him. But I'm gonna paint that, I'm gonna scrape that little glitter off and paint it white so it looks right. Even though you probably will never lift that cape up. <laughs> So I just want you to know that a lot of love and care is put into each nutcracker. Um, I, I do the very same thing with the ornaments. Some of the ornaments are very challenging. Most of them come with their beards are glued on. Half, it's odd how they do the, the beards, but I'll take all these beards off and um, put them back on the right way and there won't be a lot of globbly glue around them. Um, so, things like that. But I do um, go over every single ornament <clears throat> um, before they get put on the tree. And uh, I, I don't, I, again, I don't, I could go on, but there's no need. <laughs> I think I've showed you a little bit about what I, do and put into the Nutcracker so that you can get a good quality product associated with the Wichita Falls Ballet Theater.